Hi everyone, I know that I rarely shoot videos about my travels in Italy and about my life hacks as an artist. Today I tell you about the packaging of my paintings and about the trip to Siena in this short video. For my new followers I want to remind you that my name is Janet Pulcio, I'm a professional watercolor artist based in Florence. Press like, follow me on Instagram and YouTube and Patreon. The most important thing for sending paintings is packaging. I came to this packaging over the years. I really like the soft paper protecting the painting. Tissue paper is ideal for packaging watercolors. So when the painting is rolled up, the paint part does not rub against the clean side of the painting. I usually ask Alex to help me to roll the painting because it's really hard. What would we do without soft packaging with the bubbles? I don't know about it, because I use them all the time. After I put a painting into a plastic tube, you can find such tubes in hardware store. I used to have my branded cardboard tubes in Ukraine, but then I realized that such a tube would be much more convenient and much more comfortable and safe for my paintings, for my huge paintings. I make special stickers on the tube uh, with the NIM board device, it's very comfortable and useful for me. This way it's easier for me to fill out declaration in FedEx and when I am 200% sure that packaging wouldn't get lost. And now I would like to tell you about my trip to Siena. And uh, at the end of this video there will be a small surprise. Ciao to everyone! Today we are in Siena. So here you could see a small part of the city. And now we are going inside because in the car you can't uh, drive inside the city. So you need to park near. And now we will see much more better. The city is historically linked to commercial and banking activities, having been a major banking center until the 13th and 14th centuries. Siena is also home to the oldest bank in the world, the Monte Dei Pachi Bank, which has been opening continuously since 1472. A lot of Italian Renaissance painters burn and work in Siena, so I can say that this city is also a painter city. Похоже, утверждение, утверждение, типа, я реально считаю, что это не сто лет.
The city is famous for its cuisine, art, museums, medieval cityscape and the Palio, a horse race held twice in a year in Palazzo del Campo. I was also in a small gallery in which were many prints and small sculptures of Salvador Dali. The gallery was really fantastic. I think one day it's enough to walk around Siena to feel the ancient atmosphere. And for those who want to start painting and learn more about my style, I invite you to my Patreon channel. Thanks to everyone who supports me and loves my educational video lessons. Here is some watercolor tips for beginners. Always start with a large brush, small details making the end. When creating watercolor, always add a well-drawn drawing, it's very important. Apply the paint as closer to the pencil as possible and do not leave wide spaces. And this is my grand masterclass with the realistic plums already on my Patreon. Follow me there. I'm so happy to share this photo for you. Uh, this photo created my collector and here is perfect frame for my art. So I'm so excited about this uh, photo, about this news. Write me a comment if you love some travel content also on my YouTube and Patreon channel. See you next videos. Thank you and hope you enjoy this video.